Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop. In today's video it's going to be a little different, it's going to be a product review. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the 80% ARMS uh, uh, Generation 3 uh, router jig. They call it the Easy Jig I believe is what the name is. Yeah, the Easy Jig Gen 3. I've been using this for about a year now. I bought it when Corona hit because I wanted to make some more receivers just uh, for fun because I got really bored at home. So this has seen a lot of use. Got some dings in it from me being silly. I bought the full kit that included the router with their fast drill bit. Um, works good. A bit loud. You're going to want ear pro. And with this uh, kit, what you can do is you can... Ah, got a bunch of aluminum on me. Uh, you can do everything from the ARs with the... For like 9 millimeters. You can do the standard AR-15s. And you can also do AR-10s. They actually have slots. So the outer pin goes for the AR-10 and the inner pin goes for the AR-15. Uh, keep in mind, they do use two different cotter pins that go in. So you need to keep that into account because the AR-10 has a bigger hole. Um, you get literally everything you need to make one. So with this part, you lock it into place with the pin. Um, there is, uh, hold on, I got it over here somewhere. This then screws into the back of the buffer tube extension. And then you start the hole with uh, this part here. And they provide all the drills as well. So you literally, if you buy this kit, you need a vise. So you, this will attach here with two cap head screws and there's a starter drill point which is for this drill and you just bore down and uh, that gets to that point. Then you also are given the drill for the safety and for the two pins. I'm not going to pull them out of my bag. And you're also given three sets of these little pegs here. What these pegs do is they go into these slots. So you start with, you just work your way down the numbers. So you start with number one where you complete the first profile. And then once that profile has been completed, you then go down to step two. So you'll basically go until you bottom out the end mill into this with the router. So last one I do is there. So. So you line it up like that, and I found just taking one or two graduations at a time is optimal. So what you do is you start there, then you work your way down. So as you're going past these, you just switch these out. There's three sizes. First size is very tiny. It's like an eighth of a millimeter, or eighth of an inch, rather. And then you just keep going down until you reach uh, the third hole, which is where your trigger comes out of the bottom. And that's really about it. And then you take it out of the vise, drill out through each side. Don't try to drill through all the way. Just drill until you break through on each of them. Flip it over again. Another nice thing is on the back cap, you can actually hook your vacuum cleaner into this and it sucks a lot of the material out. There are uh, a few things you will want as a nice to have. Um, some form of aluminum cutting fluid, be it WD-40, Tap Magic, or even, uh, I've been using this a lot lately in machining, just some APA. It evacuates the chips better. What I usually do is, every time I do a notch, I apply some lubricant. You go through, do your, act, your section, drop that lubricant, and it just keeps this in better shape. That way it lasts longer. I haven't had to replace this one yet. I'm honestly not sure how much they cost to replace them. Because I haven't had to yet. And 
Let's see if I can think of anything else about this that's pretty nice. It's a lot faster, that's for sure. I used to make these at my mill about 10 years ago is when I started making 80% receivers and that would take hours because you'd have to take the drawings, you have to measure things, get your offsets. With this, you literally just plop it in and set it in the holes and you just follow the line. It's really nice. Like I said, that screams like a banshee, so wear ear pro. And then obviously I pro because you're doing metalworking. And I can complete a receiver now in about 25-ish minutes. I I think that's a pretty good amount of time to finish it. And then additional tools you might want are like a Noga deburring tool. I would show you the process, but YouTube doesn't like it when you show people how to make guns. So, alas, I'm not going to do that. But... There's a few tools you'd want just for finishing, just to keep things clean. And I also found, uh, here, let me go grab it real quick. <sighs> when you get everything all nice and cleaned up on your part, uh, and get all the cutting fluid cleaned out, uh, just shoot it with a little flat black paint. I just grabbed this because it was like a dollar on sale and uh, paint in the fire control group and that way it just looks a little more professional. You don't have a big shiny cut out pocket. Uh, that's really about it. I, if you have any questions about this, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.